I've waited for this moment for a really long time. So it, I mean, I'm kind of a newcomer to this whole world. So I've, I mean, it's, it's, I have no words, honestly. It's been so surreal. And I'm so excited to see everyone again. Um, that was like a little family for me. And like, in Italy is my first time leaving the country. So I don't know, it's just, it's been great. It's been great. And this is exactly what I feel like what everyone could use right now. It's so unserious, funny, let go, and just like have a good time. It's the only way you can make another movie about Romeo and Juliet is if you come at such a wildly different angle because I'm sorry it is the like the oldest love story ever told and it's you know since time immemorial we've known it and so you've got to do something different with it and it's been around for a while this movie and the writers just down there they've written it so long ago and it's very special and it's very fun and talking about it today I can't I just like it yeah it just brings back all of that fun we had making it well, I think, you know, misconceptions and misperceptions about love, there's things about, you know, trying to break social norms and, you know, uh, uh, hugely about women's empowerment and feminism and being able to stand up for what you believe in and fight against this, you know, these archaic and backwards rules. In like medieval times, were, we live in some hard times. Medieval times were pretty damn bad too. And, and Rosalind and Caitlin get to fight through that and show, you know, retain, hold on to her faculties and really, and really fight for what matters to her. So um, there's a lot of great themes in the film, obviously. For a couple of hours, you're gonna have a really wonderful time having a, just a fun, soulful, energetic, slick, silly, goofy, witty, charming experience. I'm having a great time because I'm here with like my cast, I'm here with my friends, my family, and, and it's just, it's really enjoyable. I'm having a good time. I'm excited to see the movie. I play Juliet in this movie, and it's interesting because Romeo and Juliet are kind of like secondary characters in this one, so you don't really see it through their eyes, you see it more through Rosalind's eyes, who's the ex girlfriend of Romeo and little do they know that she was actually mentioned in the original play and now she's back and she's actually Juliet's cousin she's also a Capulet and so you know she tries to interfere in a way and you kind of see it from her eyes and you feel that sort of resentment for the fact that he moved on so quickly and I think you know playing Juliet it was a fun perspective to have it's a blast we had a blast making this movie I had so much fun developing this character with our director um, the dialogue is so much fun. It's exciting to be able to, you know, switch the perspective on a story that um, is so known and loved. And it's a, it's a very, very fun movie and comedic and, and it's just a really good time. And I'm so happy to be celebrating it with everybody tonight because I just love this whole cast so much. I think a lot of the themes are, you know, love and self-discovery and and I guess yeah I mean uh, Rosalind's arc really in her journey throughout the story is that she thought she knew everything about everything and then slowly realizing that oh maybe I was I was wrong about a lot and I was definitely wrong about Juliet I was wrong about Romeo I was wrong about myself I was wrong about love so there's um, I mean that that is definitely discussed in the film for sure Karen was so, so spot on and so clever and really understood all of these characters, really understood Rosalind and, and who she is and, and is so, she's, Karen is so good at the like tiny, tiny subtle comedy and she really appreciated my like physical comedy throughout the film and I think all of it blended together just made this beautiful concoction of I mean even our, our cast came in with with so many specificities and nuances to each of their characters and there's so much individuality there and um, I think Karen just beautifully balances it all and makes it still feel like grounded and not over the top but still like really funny and she's just I could go on about that woman, she's amazing. I'm excited for people to just have a good time watching a movie. I think that after the past couple of years, I think it's been really scary and there's been a lot of unknown and I think that, I mean, watching something like this will just make you feel good and laugh and have a really good time. And there's modernized dialogue, there's modernized music, and the costumes are beautiful, the, the landscape is gorgeous, everything about this movie is just, just, it's awesome, you know, it really is. I think Sean said that the other day, he was like, I was watching this movie, Rosalind, he was like, how awesome is this? It's, it's really funny.